Hello and welcome to Maxible, your number one resource for ADU information. This is the fifth video in our series that will provide you with a step-by-step -step guide to building your ADU. This video covers the next stage of construction, roofing, and exterior lath. And please check out our other videos or maxiblespace.com for all the resources you need to build the ADU of your dreams. So let's dive in. Today we're talking about roof and lath. So let's start with the roof. This particular roof is what we call a cool roof. It's definitely not the cool roof of just five years ago. Technology has changed and you can actually get black composition shingles that are cool. And that's what we have here. This is what we call a 30 year comp roof. Comp means composition tile. One of the most important things that you need to do before you put your roof on is you need to make sure that all your penetrations have been made. So any venting or ducting that needs to go through the roof needs to be done before you roof because it is really hard to patch and not have leaks in the future. So just a little key thing there. We'll talk about the lath, but on the roof, there's a thing called the underlayment, and that is basically black paper that is put down in a pattern to keep your house warm and dry. And that is actually what is the waterproofing. The granulated composition shingles that we see on top is secondary, and that's your second layer of waterproofing. So really important to know. So if you are new to building an ADU, you are probably saying, what is lath? Lath is very important. It is the waterproofing power horse of your stucco. Most people think that the stucco, the actual different layers of the concrete is what keeps your house dry. It is not. It is this black paper and this mesh that holds on the cementious material that goes on top of this. So this is lath. Lath again is laid in a pattern where there's an overlay so that water doesn't get behind it. So the top sheets, all, the upper sheet is always above the lower sheet. The other thing that's important when you're looking at lath, there'll be a bunch of staple holes. You need to make sure that all the staple holes are caught because that could be a point of intrusion of water. We talked about, if you saw in our video on windows and doors, we talked about the flashing that goes around the windows and doors. Again, that is tucked underneath and here is a sample of what we're talking about. Here's the flashing that's underneath the window. But around this whole window, there is this same flashing and the stucco is laid on top of it. I cannot stress the importance of this, what we call lath, which is basically stucco paper. It is done by your stucco contractor and it is the most important part of keeping your house dry. We talked about the importance of the lath, the stucco paper. What it does is it directs the water down and any moisture that manages to get through the cementous material is gonna come out through these little holes. These holes right here are what we call, this metal flashing is called a weep screed. And this allows the water to come down and out. So if any water were ever to get trapped against this paper, it has a way to evaporate and escape. The other thing that's notable is that when you install your windows, they need to come out a certain amount to allow for the stucco so that these windows end up being flush with the stucco. We're going to have about almost an inch of material on top of this, what we call the lap, and it'll come out and it'll end up being flush with the window. So just some additional tips for you as you build your ADU. I hope you've enjoyed our content thus far. Now you're ready to move on to the next video in our step-by-step -step guide, and that is stucco and insulation. And if you're interested in getting started on your own ADU or garage conversion, please check out maxiblespace.com for all the tools, tips, and design ideas you would ever need to get started. If you want some help on your ADU journey, please click on the link below and Maxible can connect you with architects, contractors, and lenders that can turn your ADU goals into reality. Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe.